Hey everybody, it's Brian again. If you're following along in our HTML tutorials, this is video number 11. Today we're going to talk about attributes. Um, if you've been watching the videos, you've noticed that a lot of these tags, like in the last one, the paragraph tag, we use the attribute align. Well, how do you know what attributes go with what tags? Well, the answer to that is simple. you got to look them up or use a program to write the code for you. But today we're going to discuss looking them up. HTML was actually created by the World Wide Web Consortium. Well, not really created by them, but they managed the protocol and the standard, um, the actual RFQ. Just so you know, they're the people who manage it. And the standard is changing constantly. Right now we're on the verge of releasing, excuse me, releasing HTML 5.0. That will have a lot of rich media, which may or may not get rid of Flash. We'll see. There's a big debate about it. Anyways, so just go to Google, type in W3Schools, and you can see www.w3schools.com, and just go to your language of choice. You can see there's a bunch of them, in this case HTML, and you can see there's a whole list of things on the side here. You've got basic elements, attributes, headings. Let's just click on HTML attributes. And there is a complete HTML reference. This might be a little helpful here. You can see the standard is for the HTML 4.01. Um, XHTML 1.0. Don't really worry about the acronyms at this point. Just know that you're looking for HTML4. And let's find a tag that we've worked with before. Uh, we've worked with the A tag, the anchor. Now, that looks familiar. That's a link. You've done these before a couple times. Now this shows you, let me scroll up here. This is the supported browsers. You have Internet Explorer, Firefox, Opera, Google Chrome, Safari. That means that the anchor tag is supported by all major browsers. Yes, believe it or not, some tags don't work in some browsers. Many of you from the glory days of the Internet will remember the marquee tag, which scrolled things across the screen and how it looked really cool in one browser and didn't work in another or the blink tag, that blink text, oh my gosh, that just, I still have headaches thinking about that. Okay, now here are the attributes for the anchor tag. You've seen href before, value URL, that specifies the destination link. So as you can see, just looking this up, you can tell real quickly what things are, like target, that's something we haven't talked about yet. Blank, parent, self, top, or frame, specifies where the, where to open the link in the document. Basically, blank opens a blank page. Parent opens in the parent page. Self is the self. Top is pretty much the same thing. And frame name. Frames we haven't really gotten into yet. Frames you can take a page and chop it up into multiple pages and display them all at the same time. Um, but really what I wanted to point out is you can go to sites like Google and w3schools.com and you can find these attributes and they're usually pretty self-explanatory. And for example, here's some some supported attributes like on blur, on click, on focus, on mouse down, on mouse move. I mean, you can get some pretty neat control over some of these things. So, when in doubt, look it up. Go to Google, type things in, just explore. I mean, it's all about learning. Don't feel bad for asking questions. That's why things like Google exist. All right. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you found this educational and entertaining. And the next one we are going to get into a little more in depth, so stay tuned.